Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how I made this banner of faces for my son's first birthday. After choosing all the pictures I wanted to use, I brought them into Photoshop and used the quick selection tool to select each face. If you don't have Photoshop, that's okay. I'm sure you could use any photo editing software for this project. Photoshop is just the easiest for me. For this banner, I decided to do 12 faces, one for each month. After copying and pasting each face into a new project, I started with the first face, making sure it was the size I wanted. Next are the party hats. For these, I used the shape tool to create a triangle and size it accordingly. After finding many different patterns to use, I imported each one into the project as new layers. Next, I used a clipping mask, which basically lets you make each pattern into your shape of choice. So, I repeated this step on all the pattern layers. Adding a stroke around each face helped clean up the edges and also made it easier to cut out without cutting into the actual face. I am also color grading each face. This is totally a preference choice, but this way everything looks a little more uniform. I also did a little bit extra to give it more of a graphic poster look. I used the first face as a size reference to make all the other faces relatively the same size. Obviously, as he got older, his face shape changed, so they weren't exactly the same size, but this still worked out anyway. I wound up having to rearrange the hats and faces a little to make them fit separately on the page. Once everything was cut out, I used hot glue to attach everything together, also adding pom-poms to the tops of the hats. Next, I added some ribbon to give the hats a little bit of that extra party essence, if you know what I mean. And for the final step, I made sure to lay everything face down in backwards order, so when they are flipped over, they will be in the correct order. I attached everything to some yarn using regular scotch tape. I felt like hot glue for this would have been overkill. Thanks for watching!